Welcome to episode three of the vlog. Um, thanks first and foremost to everyone who reached out and commented and sent a message about uh, episode two. It was a rough week. Um, bad news was another rough week. We lost another cow, gained another bottle calf. Um, the vet thinks that the two cases were unrelated. I said last week that Fantasy didn't die of foot rot, and Dr. McMillan said, yeah, I think she probably died of foot rot. So he thinks it got septic, and that's what ended up taking her. We posted the one that died this week and sent tissues off to Iowa State, so hopefully we can get some answers right now. It looks like it was a terrible coincidence. Uh, hopefully it was, or hopefully even more so there is something that we can fix and make sure that this doesn't happen again. Um, so here we are with two bottle calves. We have Fantasy's calf and then Fantasy's daughter's calf, so they are actually three quarter sibs. And I call the second one F2. Still kind of searching for a name for her. Right now, I think the leader in the clubhouse might be Sophie. Um, she's fun. I think Crystal and I are going to have a bottle calf contest. Kind of jacked up about that. I gave Crystal a good one, gave her fantasy. I'll take F2. We'll raise them up. Show them at State Fair. Winner takes all. Don't know what the prize will be yet but surely it will be something worth it. Excited about that prospect. I'm gonna win. She said my calf's worse. I don't care. You know, I don't care. Bring it. I'll take a worse one. Beat you. What? Uh, <laughs> anything for some competition around here. We're getting a little stir crazy. As is everyone else. We're not special and any means by saying that we're spending more time than normal sitting with each other and doing things together more than we normally have. It's everyone's just a little stir crazy, but we'll all get through it. That's the great part. That is the great part of this whole deal. On a much better note, yesterday we bought a bull. We have been searching for a bull for the past three years, haven't really found one that checked enough boxes. There was always some glaring issue. Uh, a couple of times the glaring issue was just price. They were way too expensive. This one was out of our budget. We set one and we were sitting here in the office and Crystal said, well, we had said that we were going to spend X amount on cattle this year and he was under that amount so I clicked the bid button one more time and we got our bull. We got the bull from Haroldson's Pold Herefords in Saskatchewan. Uh, I've known Chad Wilson for a really long time. He came down and helped with the Denver show strings for Star Lake back in the day when the border was closed and great guy, great cattle. Very excited to be getting this bull. Chad used him last year on his heifers. We plan to do the same and let him breed some cows. Uh, he goes, he's out of a rhino. Our Emma cow that Bodie and Cole own is sired by rhino as well. We also have another rhino. We're really big fans of them. Our friend PJ Budler turned us on to him and the sire of our new bull is the totem bull, who is a red bull that goes back to the Nelly cow. Does not have maple syrup urine disease. Got that covered. Chad said he also found out 40 minutes before the sale that the bull is homozygous pole. So that is a huge win. I'm glad that he didn't find out much sooner, as the bull probably would have went out of our price range. So that was a 
good thing for us. We're excited to get him. We think he's going to move our program forward and is really going to add some shape and style. And he's almost a complete outcross to everything but the two rhinos that we have so we can use him on the majority of the herd, which is something that we have struggled with since we started to use our own bulls. So that is the most exciting development that our herd has had in quite some time and we'll be sure to show him off to you even more and let you know what we think once he gets down here. On the 12th of April we will be putting in our Umbarger and Vitafirm order for the month. If you want us to get you any feed or mineral please let us know we would love to hook you up i've already said it before we think they're the best products on the market and if you want to find out more about them hit up either crystal or i up on any of our social media or you can call email text um, my number is 319-210-4645 and you can email john at jjbcattle.com. Uh, we would love to help you get the right nutrition to your cattle. Right now it is pivotal to be feeding uh, the Conceptade mineral if you are a spring calving operation like we are. Wanted to add a new little segment called, What Are You Smoking? Now if you follow on social media, you know I'm a big fan of my Traeger grill and try to cook something on it as much as possible. Whether that's brisket, pork ribs, burgers, you name it. If it's a protein, I'm trying to get it on there. Not much chicken. Screw chicken. Stuff sucks. Um, sorry poultry farmers. I love you, I just don't like your product. Um, today I have got some uh, short ribs. Short ribs on the trigger. Really excited. They look great. Really pumped up to have those for dinner tonight. I do my short ribs about like you do a brisket. They always turn out phenomenal. Big fan. Short rib Saturday. Amateur sports update, got to do something, went and played golf on Thursday, it was beautiful, it wasn't beautiful, it was cloudy and windy and not really that warm, but I got to play golf, damn it, uh, played, ended up playing 13 holes, got tired, quit, uh, on my 9 hole round I shot a 49, pretty pedestrian, but I did hit the first three fairways and then didn't hit one after. Had a lot of two putts, only one three putt. My goal is no three putts per round. That's a goal that I have and no out of bounds penalties. for. So for my first nine hole round, I was pretty close to hitting my goals. That was great to get out, see some people from a distance. We weren't riding on carts together. We weren't standing close to each other. You don't have to touch the flag sticks. Didn't have to touch anything that was not yours. Very sanitary thing to do. But a great time. Really awesome to be able to get out of the house and was much needed for sure. And speaking of golf, one of my best friends in the world, Chopper, had a little accident at work this week. Cut his hand from like there to there. Took out a knuckle and some bones and tendons and all that, so his golf season has come to a screeching halt uh, before it really even got to start, which really sucks. Uh, Chopper is a great golfer, good bowler, better friend. Really thinking of him during this time. Uh, the Knutson boys from Jessup did some phenomenal Photoshop work. I'm going to show that up there. Uh, really top-notch stuff out of those two guys. Really appreciated that. Got a really great laugh out of that. Um, so, we're here for you, Chopper. Anything that you need, let us know. Any prayers that you can send his way. He's an atheist, so he's not going to ever ask for him, but I'll sure as hell ask for him for him. 
Um, with that song from the playlist, we're going to go to Show Barn Oldies in honor of Chopper. We're going with Joe Cocker with a little help from my friends. Anything we can do to help our friends, no matter if they've had an accident like he had or just lending an ear while we're all getting through all this quarantine and uncertainty, I think is very, very much needed. So with that, thanks for watching. Be safe, be clean, be healthy, be kind to each other. I love you.